A relative pronoun is used to refer to nouns mentioned previously, whether they are people, places, things, animals, or ideas. Relative pronouns are used to join two sentences together. Here are some examples sorry, in English. The actor who played John Picard in Star Trek is awesome. The glasses that I bought yesterday are already broken. The house whose roof is old belongs to me. The equivalent in French to who, that, whose in these examples are the simple relative pronouns qui, que, and don't. But be careful, it's not always as simple to translate them from English to French or from French to English. To understand qui and que, a very quick reminder. Do you know how to identify the subject and the object in a sentence, grammatically speaking? An example. Marie mange une pomme. Marie is doing the action. It's the subject in my sentence. It is placed before the verb mange. Une pomme is eaten by Marie. Une pomme is the object of the sentence. It is placed after the verb mange. Let's start with the relative pronoun qui. Qui is a subject relative pronoun. Qui connects two subjects together. Have a look at this. Les Français habitent à Paris. French people live in Paris. Les Français ont tous une vue sur la Tour Eiffel. All the French have a view over the Eiffel Tower. Here, I want to connect these two sentences to avoid the repetition of the subject les Français and describe this big cliché about Parisians. Les Français qui habitent à Paris ont tous une vue sur la Tour Eiffel. All the French who live in Paris have a view over the Eiffel Tower. Understood? This one was easy. Have a look at this now. Les tomates sont dans le jardin. The tomatoes are in the garden. Les tomates mûrissent. The tomatoes are ripening. Les tomates are both subjects here. They are before the verb. Les tomates qui sont dans le jardin mûrissent. The tomatoes which are in the garden are ripening. You start to get it? Qui can either be translated in English as who or which depending on the subject, if it's a person or a thing. It cannot be skipped in English and it cannot be skipped in French. I cannot say the tomatoes are in the garden are ripening. I have to say the tomatoes which are in the garden are ripening. Let's talk about que. Que is an object relative pronoun. Que connects one object and one subject together. Another cliche now. Les Français préfèrent un sport. Ce sport est la pétanque. If I want to say the sport that French people prefer is pétanque or the sport French people prefer is pétanque, I have to say in French, le sport que les Français préfèrent est la pétanque. Ils adorent une boisson. Cette boisson est le vin. The drink they love is wine. La boisson qu'ils adorent est le vin. Que can be translated in English as that and it can also be skipped in English. The drink they love is wine or the drink that they love is wine. It cannot be skipped in French. You have to say que. A very good tip for you now to make the difference between qui and que. Try to remember this and take notes. Que is directly followed by a subject plus a verb. Le film que j'ai regardé hier était intéressant. The movie I watched yesterday was interesting. Or the movie that I watched yesterday was interesting. Que is followed by the subject here. Je, j'ai apostrophe, then the verb. Qui is not directly followed by a personal subject. La dame qui travaille à Ben Farm Shop est vraiment gentille. The lady who works at Ben Farm Shop is really nice. Here, qui is directly followed by travail, which is the conjugated verb. That's it for now. À plus tard. Bye.